The other day, I was startled by our front doorbell ringing through the house. Oh no. <laughs> Isn't it funny that it's rarely good news when that happens? Uh, so that I, I go to the door. This is It's this guy and he's, uh, I guess he's a bug sprayer. All right, bug sprayer. Did you get credentials? Uh, no. What? Some guy in a cheap suit shows up with a story, oh, I'm here to spray for bugs and you just believe him, dude? Don't, you gotta not be so trusting. You're gonna end up tied up in the basement or something. I know, I know. He could be a villain in disguise. He could be anything he wants, but I'm me. So I'm not gonna give him any sensitive bank information or anything. All right, just don't get caught in a phishing scam. So he starts telling me, I got some houses on this block and I wanna clear, I wanna cover this whole block. Um, have you seen sugar ants? Wait, cover the whole block? Yeah, like cover multiple houses. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, oh, to eradicate the kingdom of sugar ants in one fail swoop? Uh, not exactly that. I think these sugar ants are probably job security, but he just wanted to have an easy block where he's like spraying that house, this house, and that next house or whatever. Oh, so he, you think he's spray happy? Oh, this guy's hopped up on spray for sure. He knew it. He's spray happy. It happens to the best of us. Whether he's spray happy or not, I don't need his help to get rid of a couple of measly sugar ants. You know about sugar ants? Don't, dude, don't test me. I know all about sugar ants. I'm not, I'm not trying to. I didn't know. I don't fuck around when it comes to sugar ants. Oh, shit. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know how serious this was going to get. You don't fuck with a man's sugar ants. I know. I know. it. I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking. This guy just starts telling me everybody's secret business. These neighbors of yours have weevils. These guys have ticks. Those guys have sugar ants. I'm like, dude, is there some kind of... A uh, patient doctor confidentiality here? Are you supposed to be telling me this? What? Who has weevils? I don't know. Isn't that supposed to be classified? What is a weevil? I have no fucking idea. I've always wondered. I'll bet they're just made up. How? Dude, there's no way they're real. You don't know what one is and I don't know what one is? I'm sure if you Googled it, it's probably just going to be a picture of a beetle or something. Yeah, I mean, you're right. You're right. Just some made up bullshit. There's a million different kind of beetles. And spiders? Don't get me started on spiders. Yeah, there's a trillion different kind of spiders, dude. Who has time for this? Some people are very passionate about it. Ah, I mean, to each their own, but you know, I just get tired of it, dude. You're fucking creeping around with eight legs. There's nothing you can do about it, dude. What about, hey, what about their eight eyes watching you while you sleep? All right, all right, that's enough. That's enough coming down from the ceiling in the middle of the night. This is completely unnecessary. Hey, look at this, direct from space. Let's see if this goes through. Don London's calling in. Um, the connection's been so bad lately. <laughs> the connection has been bad. It makes you wonder about that first moon landing, how they did a live feed straight to television. Hmm. Uh-oh, let's not get into conspiracy theories. <laughs> It's just funny that something that happened in the late 60s can't be replicated right now with our amazing technology. Don London, when is your little stint in space up? The time is getting short now. I'll be back real soon, baby. Hey, Coltrane, have you noticed? Irving's back. He went back down there last week. I did notice. Space fucked him up, dude. <laughs> he has full-blown OCD now. Oh, he's one of those guys. He's got the recessive gene. Space will do that. Got OCD, bro. Yeah, I was in the backyard yesterday and um, he was trying to park his old Chevy Blazer and it took him 20 minutes. He just kept going back and forth. He hit his house at one point. <laughs> he hit his house? What do you mean he was going back and forth? Well, he parks at the top of his driveway and he parked perfectly where it normally goes, his fucking Chevy Blazer. But then he pulled back out, reversed, back and forth, parallel parked it about 15 times, backed into the house. I don't know what the fuck he was doing. Any other strange observations? Yes, he's been using his leaf blower every single day. He built an underground bunker. And also, he's madly in love with his driveway. I think he's gonna legally marry it. <laughs> That's all he used to talk about on the space station, was that driveway. <laughs> it's, it's just great that he's happy, right? Huxley, did you try that space weed I sent down? <laughs> I did. Oh, look, it could be part of both of our new segments. 
Da 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 da. One hundred percent pure indica, courtesy of NASA Labs. Oh, oh, it was bonkers. Anyway, yeah, this happened in Birian, so we got da 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 in Birian, whatever. And also, it's part of the Juno Hot Minute. Da da da. We seriously need to get the theme songs going for these. Yeah, I mean, let me just give you a good review on this. Um, I saw it was indica, so I got a nice cup of coffee going because then I just usually power through. But this stuff, <laughs> oh, this stuff. <laughs> that stuff's a beast. There I was, sunk into the couch in our living room. The sun streaming through the window. I was basking in it. I felt so good, vibrant and alive and comfortable. I couldn't move. And my coffee was all the way across the coffee table. <laughs> I've been there. I mustered up all my you strength mustered and I it. yelled out to Juno who was across the room. I said, Juno, fetch me my coffee. I can't move. Oh, she came to the rescue? Just like one of those St. Bernards with the little whiskey barrels. Not exactly. Something got lost in translation between this, uh, this uh, language, canine language barrier. Oh shit, then what happened? I'll tell you what happened. I just laid there helpless in absolute comfort like a lizard on its back in the sun for the next 45 minutes. I couldn't move. Oh, I recognize that comforting sound. It would absolutely kill him to miss a day. It's kind of soothing in a nails across the chalkboard kind of way. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I actually kind of miss that silly son of a bitch. It was pretty funny when you kept putting those leaf blowers out the airlock. That's the part I miss the most. Just so mesmerizing watching those things spin out into space. So Such a fun little hobby. Expensive, but fun. Leaf blowers aren't cheap. I'm not going to sit here and apologize for my expensive tastes. And especially, if somebody else is going to provide the leaf blowers, I am going to indulge. Watching a leaf blower slowly spin out into nothingness has to be one of the most peaceful things that I've ever seen. I hope everybody gets to have that experience at least once in their life.